guys, my name is Kitty. Welcome back to my channel, and this is going to be my Dark Romance Readathon vlog. So today's Friday, and I have been sort of participating in the Dark Romance Readathon, as you guys saw in my last video, but this is going to really be like, I'm gonna focus, and <laughs> I'm going to read Dark Romance. Um, so this is going to be the Dark Romance Readathon. Um, and I'm going to try to finish the two books that I have on my TBR for this. Um, so as I mentioned, I'm reading Unhinged. I'm 25% through with that and I'm really enjoying it. Giving very much Mindfuck series. Um, plus just Insta Love, Touch Him and You Die, Male Male Romance, just fun times. Very, very fun. <laughs> I'm having such a blast. This is my first like Male Male Romance read and I... I'm in love. I'm in love. So Unhinged fits the serial killer prompt and the LGBTQ prompt. Um, and then I have Pestilence by Laura Thalassa, which is a um, captor captive dark romance. I've never read a captor captive dark romance, so I'm actually really excited about that. And I've heard really good things about the kind of like Four Horsemen series. Um, so I'm very excited about that and I really want to get to it so I really need to kind of like make sure that I'm actually reading for this following weekend. So I essentially have the weekend to finish the Dark Romance Readathon. We're going to really try to knock out those two prompts or I guess three because yeah with three prompts with two books I feel like it's pretty solid. Um, obviously there's a lot more. I'm not going to hit all of them but um, I do enjoy just participating. I wanted to get into Dark Romance. Um, so, you know, this is all just coming together nicely. So, today, like I said, is Friday. I am planning on going Halloween hunting because I just watched my friend Katrina's video and they were talking about, like, all their, like, Halloween hunting things they found and I was like, oh my god, I need to hit the streets! I need to hit the town and I gotta find all those things because there's so many good things and I'm getting scared that the season's almost over! Um, and then what am I gonna decorate my house with if not an obscene amount of Halloween things um, there's still a lot of places in my house that I need to decorate so I'm just like this is my time like this is my time if I if I let it pass me by I'm gonna have to wait till next year so yeah I'm gonna do some Halloween hunting today um, so that'll be a fun time I have to clean my house um, which is not that much because I cleaned some of it yesterday I just have to kind of like put away some things that I made a mess in this morning um, and then I will be going out and trying to find some Halloween stuff. I filmed my August wrap up. So I've been very productive this morning, hoping to keep this energy up the whole day so that I can, you know, push through my TBR. Um, so yeah, that is my little intro. I don't have much else to tell you guys right now about the books I'm reading. So hopefully when you see me next, it'll either be with a Halloween haul or it will be with a reading update. I feel like both things sound really fun, so <laughs> let's see what happens. I yeah, I will update you guys when we get some more reading done or when we buy some Halloween decorations. Hey guys, so excuse the really awkward angle. I am in a car, <laughs> obviously. So um, we're gonna go Halloween hunting. So first place we're gonna go is Target. I'm gonna look and see if they have anything out on their dollar section. So we're gonna go to Target. I also need to get some stuff like cleaning supplies for the house anyway, so um, I do have to go. Um, so I'm going to see if we can find Halloween decorations there. Then I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree and I think that will be it because I don't know. Or maybe I'll go to Ross too. Um, and then yeah, I have to work so I don't have that much time to be out. But here we are. Um, it'll be a fun time so I'm going to try and do that. and. Out. So, um, let's go to Target and see if they have any Halloween stuff out. Hey guys, so, um, I went only to Target because I did not have enough time to go to other stores. I spent a long time in Target. I kind of went through the entire thing. Um, so, yeah. But I do have some Halloween stuff because, um, honestly, my Target was well stocked. I'm pretty happy about that. So, First thing I got was this pillow that you guys saw. It's this gorgeous like blue green color with like a bunch of like autumn like little motifs. Um, so I'm gonna put this, I don't know if on my couch or on the bed or even maybe in my library, I don't know. I thought it was really cute. Um, and then I got these plates, these little bowls that have pumpkins on them. They're so cute. These were only $3. 
um, and I just need more bowls, so I thought these were perfect. So I got that. I got this little tray. Um, it's like a little moon, but like you can just like sit it, and you could even hang it. But I think I'm just gonna sit it and like organize like a bunch of stuff on here and put this um, in the bedside like table and just like organize stuff onto it so it doesn't get as messy um, because it'll be like all kind of like fitted onto this little tray. So I got that. And then I got this beautiful little throw blanket. Um, it's pumpkins, but it's like white. So I have a black one with pumpkins. So I wanted kind of like a white one with pumpkins because I think this is just really cute and it's super comfortable. So these are $10 at Target. Um, I got some um, cleaning spray because I needed some. And uh, and then I just got like shower gel because we also need a shower gel. <laughs> so I did get some like useful things while I was there. I got these little uh, kitchen towels. I think I'm gonna put these in the bathroom because the material I think would be better for the bathroom, but it has little pumpkins. How cute, these are so cute. So I think I'm gonna hang one by the sink in the kitchen and then one in the bathroom um, because these are just so cute. So I got some of those. And then I also got another set of like kitchen like dish towels, which I just was sold because of this. It's a little ghost, it says boo and has like a little trim at the bottom. And it comes with a little like orange little plaid. Is it plaid or checkered gingham print? I don't know. Maybe it's orange gingham uh, print. So these, this is really cute. This could go like on the stove or as a little hand towel for the kitchen as well. Um, I got some socks. They only had one pair of adult socks. Uh, all the other ones were kids socks, but I got these. They have little jack-o'-lanterns. They're so cute. Um, just the pumpkin is just getting me. And then I got these two little beverage holders. Um, a little boo one, I'm here for the booze, and <laughs> authentic witch's brew, so like a beer cozy. Um, I feel like I drink beer too slow, and I feel like this would be perfect to kind of like keep them a little bit colder, because like I feel like it takes me a while to finish them. By the time I finish them, they're kind of like warm, so I feel like, I don't know, I'll try these out. These were a dollar, so I was like, fuck it. Let's see if it works. And... <laughs> You guys know what's coming. I had to get two new mugs, and honestly, I'm so obsessed with this one. Um, so I got this little cauldron. Look how cute it is. It's so adorable. Like, I'm just, it was like the only one that was left. It has a little spider web, but it's like a little cauldron. I, I'm so obsessed. And then I got this one, which is a little mummy, and it's so cute. Like, oh my god, this is so adorable. Like, I'm, yes. So, um, yeah, no reading, but I do have some Halloween hunting for you guys. I still have to go to a bunch of different stores, but I just don't have time today. So it'll just be something else we do throughout this vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that my Target actually had some really cool stuff. So I'm just going to put this away and head to work. And I will see you guys later with hopefully a reading update instead of a look what all the things that I spent my money on. <laughs> <laughs> all right bye hey guys so it is a friday night it is currently 11 43 um and i have been reading unhinged by only 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 james um and the smut scenes <laughs> i'm blushing um they're really good i really like them um it's very it's really hard to read this book though a little bit because just like the subject matter is really just it makes me feel so like sad like i want to cry for this character and at the same time i'm just kind of like but i'm also like really enjoying like their romance i really like adam's like how he i don't know views noah like this possessiveness is like hurt him and you die just like and nothing ever bad's gonna happen to you it's just like it's really sweet it's really cute the smut is great but it's just the content because this book is dealing with like child abuse is so like it just makes me want to cry like so it's really weird to be feeling like i want to cry but also like I'm like obsessed with the romance 
and the smut it's just like there's so many things there's so many emotions that this book is like provoking for me that i'm just kind of like like i'm having literally like a different emotion every fucking page of this fucking book it's just oh my god i'm just i'm just and i'm also obviously deeply deeply furious um because of all this like child abuse that's being mentioned and that's just like that makes me so fucking angry so like also i'm fucking angry so it's just like it's so many emotions rolled into one while reading this um and i just really hope that the i guess like the payback the kind of like closing like revenge arc is like satisfying like i need this book to have a extremely satisfying ending because i know that it's just going to get even darker and darker and darker um because the book is obviously following this romance between you know noah and adam but at the same time noah is like on a quest to learn more things about his pedophile father and i know that as he kind of like keeps going down that rabbit hole like he the story is just gonna get even more and more horrifying and if this if it doesn't have like a like if, if the revenge arc isn't satisfying i will be extremely angry because i need this man to suffer and i just need everyone involved in this whole thing to really suffer or i will not be happy <laughs> um so yeah that's how i'm feeling about this i'm super emotional about this book it's very much inciting a lot of rage happiness sad crying like it's just there's so many things going on so it's it's very it's good but i'm feeling so much <laughs> and i don't really like i don't really feel that much on my day-to-day -day life emotion wise so this is very much like i'm just like oh my fucking god dude like I want to punch like everyone um obviously except for adam and Noah. i want to hug them and just protect them forever <laughs> i'm really enjoying this so i'm 31 percent through so um i think i'm gonna read for a little bit more and then um i will you know go to sleep because it's pretty late so i'm gonna read i'm gonna try to read like another chapter and then um i'm gonna go to sleep and yeah i will pick this up again tomorrow tomorrow's really busy busy though i have a lot of work to do um so it's gonna be kind of a really busy day not kind of it's gonna be a really busy day so probably don't like at six ish come home and just drink like another cup of coffee and try and stay up really late because sunday's my day off so i could really like get into it so that's the plan i will continue reading and i'll update you guys tomorrow on how this goes <laughs> i'm yeah i'm having a good time but i'm also super terrified and i'm really angry so it's a lot of emotions so yeah i will update you guys later <laughs>
guys, so today is Sunday. It is the last day of the Dark Romance Readathon, and I actually finished a book for the readathon. I finished Unhinged this mor morning by Only James. Um, so I ended up getting this book four stars. Um, my only thing why this book doesn't get five stars for me is just because I wish there had been more like death scenes, just more like revenge, and just a little bit more descriptors of just carnage <laughs> i was expecting a lot more carnage considering this is a serial killer psychopath romance um so i wanted more murder <laughs> uh but that's like my only like real thing with it the rest of the book i thought was fantastic really fun time um made me feel so many emotions all at once um so this book features insta love psychopaths um touch him and you die you know um super like possessiveness protectiveness trope thing um obviously male male uh romance um it's super triggering well it was super triggering for me obviously everyone's triggers are different but it was like really triggering i was so angry and at some points i had to stop reading because i was just getting like super uncomfortable and just like angry um so yeah it was really triggering for me um and yeah i guess definitely look up the trigger warnings there is pedophilia and child abuse um those are like the main ones that i can really like remember right now um but you know you can just look them up online just in case um if there's any more but yeah those two are really the the ones the big ones they're a big part of the story um and yeah they are very it made me so angry um which is why i wanted more carnage at the end i wanted more carnage when it came to like the revenge of the whole story like i really wanted more people to suffer um and yeah i wanted to see more people suffer um so that's uh <laughs> that's my little thing um but these this is part of a series a necessary evil series i think there's like seven books i think six are published and maybe the seventh one is still not released yet but there is like a series um and it follows these brothers um who are all psychopaths and have been trained to just like kill people think dexter vibes you know um so it's like that um and i think each book basically follows a different brother etc etc this one followed adam and noah and their relationship was so cute there were so many quotes and i was just like he's just like me and i was like you're talking about a psychopath and i was like oof <laughs> a lot of uh, realizations happening in that moment uh but still it was such a good time there's so many quotes i highlighted i just i wish i had the physical book i just do not like these covers i wish they would get redesigned but I wanted the physical books because like there's just so many things I would have highlighted. I highlighted a bunch in like my Kindle, but like if I had the physical copy, I know that shit would have been just like tapped the fuck up. Um, but yeah, I had a great time. Four stars. I yeah, I loved it. So um, I am gonna continue with the series. I'm gonna read Psycho next, but I'm not sure when I'll get to it. Um, but I heard that it's also really good, and I'm really excited about that one. So overall, for this readathon. Um, unhinged counts for three prompts so i'm counting it for the serial killer prompt the lgbt plus prompt and the trigger warning plot prompt the trigger warning prompt because it was extremely triggering so yeah i still have pestilence that i have to read um i don't think that i'll finish it before like the dark romance readathon ends but i am gonna start it today anyways and just see how far i get and i'll just like continue the vlog along with it um because i really do really want to read pestilence um and i kind of want some more fantasy dark romance like it just sounds so good um and that one i think would fit the prompt for captor and captive uh for the dark romance readathon but like i said i don't think i'll finish it before it's over but i'm gonna start it so aside from the reading updates i am going to go watch barbarian today I am so excited. I have no clue what this movie is about and I want to just go in it fully blind. I have no idea what it's about. Just that it's a horror. think it might be a slasher and that's like the extent of what I know. Um, that's literally it but I've been hearing everyone raving about it so I really want to go watch it um, and hopefully get freaked out. Um, 
because when was the last time I even went to see a horror movie in theaters? Like I can't even remember the last time. Uh, so I'm down to go get scared. So I'm gonna do that later. Um, so that's why I don't know how long the movie is, but that's gonna take up a chunk of my time. And then um, I kind of want to continue decorating. I started decorating the like bedroom. Um, I made like a little reading nook with a bunch of pillows that I bought at Ross, which you guys saw. Um, so I kind of want to continue working on that room because I'm like, damn, I need to like decorate before like all the Halloween stuff is gone and then I won't have anything to decorate with. So maybe I'll work on that. But I do, like I said, want to start pestilence as well. So uh, we'll see what I end up getting up to. But for sure, we are going to go watch Barbarian today and I will let you guys know what I think. But I'm like super excited and I really hope that it freaks me the fuck out because uh, I kind of want to be scared. <laughs> I, I I need a little adrenaline rush, you know, so that's the plan for the rest of the day um, And yeah, I'll take you guys along with me and we'll see what we get up to and I will update you with some more reading later Today's Monday, um, so the Dark Romance Readathon ended yesterday, and surprise, even myself, I actually fucking finished Pestilence yesterday. So I started and finished Pestilence yesterday, um, and I was shocked that I finished it. I was literally shocked. I was like, I, I didn't know I was gonna finish it, and then I finished it, and I was like, holy fuck, I did it. <laughs> so it was shocking to everyone involved. So I finished that for the Dark Romance Readathon. So that one counted for the Captor and Captive, Captor and Captive prompt. So I gave that 3.75 stars. Um, what a weird rating, right? Like it just, it wasn't a four, but it also wasn't a 3.5. So I was just like, there's a middle there. So it's 3.75. Um, so I, the reason that I didn't give it four stars or five stars um, I thought I would when I first started it because I was really sold on the idea of just everything about the book. I'm sold, right? Um, but my only thing, well, I have a couple of things. <laughs> um, first, I wish there was more smut. Like, I feel like the smut scenes were super, like, they were all right. They were not, like, they were very basic. And I was kind of hoping for some mm, crazier sex scenes. Um, considering it's a dark romance, I really was expecting a little bit more smut, just in general, but also the smut to be a little darker, I don't know. Um, so that was one thing. Um, and the other thing is that I didn't like how religious it got. I liked the exploration of what it means to believe, faith, you know, humanity just being like the worst, um, and just like how horrible humanity becomes faced with like, you know, death and destruction. I really enjoyed that aspect of the book, like discussing kind of like faith and humankind and humanity um, and just like, just how terrible humans are. I loved it, I got it, I was like, yes, yes, you're right. Where it got really religious was where we get more into the relationship between Pestilus and Sarah. Just wasn't a fan of that it didn't really make sense to me considering that pestilence he himself was explaining how he's not really a man you know he's like i don't even know how to describe like a force of nature type of thing um so it was kind of weird that he abided so closely to like arbitrary rules made by humans 
and even he himself says like the bible is like it's written by man it's not really god's word and it's like full of like lies or whatever and i'm like yeah that's true so it was weird that he like clinged to very patriarchal views of relationships i would have thought he would have been more i don't know like i don't i just thought he'd be different about it i was wrong <laughs> Um, so that was like something that really bothered me. I was just like, eh, I'm not feeling you pestilence. Mm, like that really like gave me the ick, honestly. Um, because like everything before that when he's being like an asshole, I was just like, okay, I love this. Like, yes, because it was very like enemies to lovers type of thing, you know? Um, he's like torturing her. He's a cat. She's her captive. Like I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guys, this is all dark romance. Okay, so like it has to be dark. I just felt like it didn't it got weirdly religious towards the end and um i was just kind of hoping for it to be a little bit darker considering it is a dark romance i thought it should be a little bit darker um so yeah that was just my thing also i think the construct like the the way that it's like talking about pestilence like killing all these people in the thousands because he's spreading like a plague essentially I feel like the concept was a little bit too broad for me like to really care um, like Sarah obviously my character is like super hurt by like all this like death and destruction but I don't know what it I think it was just the fact that like I can't I couldn't comprehend the scale of it all that him like murdering all these people I was just like I wasn't really like affected by it I wasn't like oh my god like he's such a terrible man because it just seemed so like like large scale that i just wasn't really like i don't know i just i wasn't that affected by it um like i didn't really see him fully as a villain because it just kind of seemed like it's god's fault that they're murdering everyone because god sent the horseman you know so like i didn't really feel like it was his fault or that i should be mad at him specifically i felt like i should be mad at god um so i just like couldn't really paint him that much of a villain um so yeah it was just kind of like you know it was it was fun i'm interested in the series like i really do want to continue it um but i definitely had higher hopes when i first started it than when i finished it um so like when i first started it i was like oh my god i want to get the physical copy because i was like i really loved it but after we get to the end i was just kind of like mm, you know what i'm okay reading it on my kindle i don't need like the you know i don't need the physical copies so yeah if that makes any fucking sense like <laughs> I don't know if I made any sense, but hopefully I made sense to you guys and you get what I'm saying. But yeah, that's just how I felt about um, Pestilence. I will be continuing the series though, for sure. Um, so I hope that the other series are a little bit more smutty. I mean, dare I hope. Um, I feel like Laura Thalassa, because um, I read the first one, which is, is it The Bargainer? No, Rhapsodic by Laura Thalassa. And I'm pretty sure I thought the same thing that I wish the smut had been had been smuttier. Um, so maybe it's a thing that maybe her smut is just not as smutty as I would like. Um, I am used to like Ruby Dixon level smut. And I had read Unnecessary Evils literally right before this one, which was mega smutty. So maybe my like expectations were thrown off because of all that. Um, so yeah, but I just wish. It had been smuttier and darker um but i enjoyed it i will be continuing with the series um i really want to see where this goes i'm really interested in death which is like the fourth book which is the fourth horseman i'm really interested in like what he's gonna what he's up to um so yeah i will continue the series so i did that um and then i watched as you guys saw i went to go watch the barbarian no not the barbarian just barbarian oh my god wow five stars like i okay i went into it knowing nothing like i said i literally didn't watch any trailer i didn't read any synopsises like i knew nothing i just knew that it had come out because i'd seen some people on instagram post about it and i heard that it was a horror and i was like okay well, let's go and i knew justin long was in it so i was like oh, obviously i gotta go i fucking love justin long so um yeah i went in fully blind and i encourage you to go in fully blind if you don't know anything about barbarian keep it that way and just go watch it it's so fucking good <sighs> i 
and like the filming was awesome like i loved like the way that the camera angles worked especially when it was kind of like filming kind of like if you were like a video game player like where it would film the person like from behind or like where you would just see like the arms oh my god and the monster oh my god i oh my god the beginning the first death scene i was literally like i it happened and i literally turned to my boyfriend i was like oh my god and then it like oh what a fucking intro like what a fucking intro um honestly so fucking terrifying just like the the fucking tunnel <laughs> no fuck no the fact that she went down there fuck no. bro like i'm getting in my car i'm driving i'm i don't know somehow convincing the police to come with me back there because fuck that i'm not nope mm -mm. so crazy and like the ending literally made me kind of sad i was like aw like <laughs> Me and my boyfriend were like, oh, that's kind of sad. And I was like, wait. <laughs> I'm like, who are we empathizing with right now? Um, but it was, yeah, it was a great movie. Like, I have zero complaints. It was so cool. It was so, yeah, it was such a little weird movie. Um, definitely not what I expected. Justin Long's character, wow. Um, wow. Wow. Um, Tess, like wow she was a fucking badass um and yeah the ending <laughs> had me a little sad i'm not gonna lie but it was a great movie it was a great movie i definitely recommend everyone go watch it um if you like horror go fucking watch it that shit is so so good um so yeah so those are i think that's the last thing i left off was when i was gonna watch best no watch specialist when i was gonna go to the movies um so yeah i did that i finished specialist um i don't know what to pick up now that is really my biggest thing is i don't know what i'm gonna read next um i don't know i have to figure that one out but i'm gonna go to work and then i don't know maybe later today i'll have a vibe as to what i want to read but right now i do not have any idea and i'm kind of thinking about straying from my tbr but I know I shouldn't, but oh my God. I don't know. We'll figure it out later, but I just wanted to give you guys those updates. Um, and yeah, so Dark Romance Readathon, I feel like was a very successful, all things considered. I really only thought I was gonna read one book, but then I finished two and I was like, wow, uh, my mind. Um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun. Definitely a genre I wanna explore more in um, and kind of like see what is kind of like the thing that I really like from Dark Romance. Um, I am kind of into this captor and captive thing though, so I do want to look into that um, for Dark Romance, so if you have any recommendations, let me know. Um, and obviously I love serial killers too, so that was really fun too, so I don't know. I'm going to have to keep looking into those tropes, but I did like both of them, so I will see what, I, what else I can find in the genre. But yeah, it was a really good time, um, I'm glad I was able to participate. So yeah, I'm gonna go to work now and I will see you guys when I get home and then we can pick what I'm gonna read next. So yeah, I will update you guys later. Hey guys, so um, I was going to continue this vlog but it's pretty long already and I kind of want to keep this as like a dedicated Dark Romance Readathon vlog. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna close it out here. But first, I wanna show you guys some things that I picked up today at Target because I kind of found some like cute little kind of like almost like diy projects but they were like three dollars each and i i could not resist so i got i did also pick up a book i'll show you that first um so i picked up belladonna by adeline grace i've been hearing a lot of good things about this this is a ya fantasy romance i think um she basically can never die and death but she hates death or something and death like kills everything obviously so she's like the perfect they're like the perfect couple or whatever um but it i think i've heard people kind of compare it to the invisible life of Addie larue i didn't like that book i tried to read it and i dnf'd because i just didn't enjoy Addie larue like as a character um i just i didn't like her so i just couldn't like get myself to connect to the story so i dnf'd it i do want to try and read it again it's just like 
I just was not sold on Addy. Um, so this premise being similar is very intriguing to me, but obviously this is a different genre. This is a YA and Invisible Life Addy, Addy LaRue is like an adult. Um, but I've heard really good things about this, so I really want to read it. And it is so fucking pretty. Okay, so first you have this, right? You know, like the the dust jacket, gorgeous. I mean, like the silver lettering is just beautiful. Like, look at the printing. Like, it's just, it's a gorgeous book. Like, it's literally a gorgeous book. It has that, like, matte texture. But when you take off the fucking dust jacket, I literally bought it because of this. I was like, there's no fucking way. Even if I don't like it, there's no fucking way look at how look at how gorgeous look at how fucking gorgeous this book is it is said that five belladonna berries are all it takes to kill someone oh my oh my god look at this gorgeous ass book i cannot wait to read this it has gorgeous end pages um you know got this beautiful thing here um yeah i'm so excited i feel like i'm really gonna like it i don't know why maybe it's just that it's such a gorgeous book but i feel like i'm gonna like it god this book is so pretty so yeah i got this i gotta take this sticker off but i got it for i think it was 15 ish dollars at target and it was the last copy um so i was like i'm taking it as a sign so yeah, this is super gorgeous, so I'm really excited to read it. Um, and then like the Halloween-y things that I bought were these like DIY wreath kits. So I got three. So this one has little ghosties. Um, this one is a haunted house one. Also gorgeous. And then this one is so cute. It has little pumpkins and it just says eek. I'm really excited. I'm gonna hang on every single door that I have. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I need one more actually, but I'm just really excited to like construct these. I'm pretty sure you just like attach them with like little pieces of like glue or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do these probably today and put them up <laughs> around the house. Um, and then I bought this, which I think would look so cool in my shelves. Um, it's just like this weird like it's just like a, you just sit it but it's like a door it has a little knocker um so i think it would look really cool in my bookshelves like it's just so like i could like put stuff here i don't i'm just like obsessed with this thing it's so random but i feel like it'd be really cute um like a little book little book nook area you know i've been wanting to make one of those like book nooks that people do with like the cardboard boxes and shit and they build like little worlds i really want to make one um, but I thought this would be like a really cute little addition without having to do anything. Just put it in there. So yeah, I thought this was super cute. So yeah, I picked that up. Um, I'm also waiting for my pre-order to arrive of Barbarian Mine. Um, it's out today, so it should arrive today, but I don't know. Um, we'll see. But I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. I just wanted to give you guys a little quick little haul. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any recommendations for dark romance especially like captive captor dark romance please let me know um i'm pretty sure i'm thinking of getting of reading that one that has like the snake on the cover i think that one is a serial killer romance um so i might check that out next but i do want like a captor captive dark romance um so if you have any suggestions please let me know um if you did participate in the dark romance readathon let me know what you read um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to keep up with more content for me and i will see you guys in my next video bye